Hi, my name is Allison Dury, a graduate student here at South Dakota State University in the Nutrition and Exercise Science Master's Program. The topic of finances is a popular topic to discuss and understand. One forgotten area of finances includes shopping. People shop every day for multiple purposes, but there are areas of shopping that can be harmful. Impulse shopping is one harmful aspect of shopping. In this video, I will discuss the topic of impulse shopping, why we shop, why it is bad, and strategies to avoid impulse spending. The study of the psychology behind why we shop found multiple answers. Media tactics draw people to a product and make them feel as though they need the item. Shopping tends to be a common feel-good activity allowing a person to get what they want. Spending money often creates a sense of excitement for a person as if they are taking a risk they normally would not. Why we shop varies from person to person because we are influenced in different ways and choose to spend our money differently. Impulse shopping is purchasing an item that was not originally planned to be bought. This includes those candy bars or phone chargers at the checkout stand, or larger items such as shoes you have to have, cooking pans you liked, or even a moped or vehicle of some kind. These are items you want rather than need. One thing about impulse shopping is that individuals who are generally impulsive tend to be at risk of impulse shopping. Sales have a large impact on impulse spending. A sale makes it seem as if a person will miss out on a chance to purchase that product again at a low price. There are a few reasons impulse shopping can be harmful. First, small amounts of spending can add up to a large amount of money. Overspending will reduce the amount of money that is being saved for necessary purchases. Psychologically, impulse shopping can create a lack of control over spending. The idea that shopping creates a temporary emotional support and a way of cutting negative feelings can make a person want to do that more, which can lead to a shopping addiction or financial losses. Here are five tips to avoid impulse shopping. Create a budget meant for low cost purchases. This can be books, entertainment, SDSU gear, or personal items. Develop a list of wants versus needs to reduce spending on items that are not necessary. For example, if spending time with family is a need, think about the amount of money it may cost to travel, visit family during the semester. Keep that amount in mind when you are tempted to make an impulse purchase. Make a list when you shop, such as a grocery list to stay on task. If you go to the grocery store without a list, it is easy to pick up items that look good or are on sale. If these are things you don't need, you may not use them or let them go to waste, such as perishable foods. Another tip is to use the time rule. This is waiting 24 to 48 hours to think about what you should purchase and if you should purchase the item. For example, if you go to the SDSU bookstore and see a sweatshirt that would look great on you in the next semester or the next event, wait a day or two before you buy it. If you are still thinking about the item and can afford it, make the purchase. Who you shop with can also affect if you impulse shop. Friends and peer pressure can convince you to purchase unneeded items. Lastly, the easiest way to reduce impulse shopping is using cash instead of a credit card to stay within budget and not allow excess expenses to fall on using a credit card. Shopping can be an enjoyable activity when done the proper way. This information will be beneficial the next time you shop. Remember why we shop, what impulse shopping is, why it is bad, and how to avoid excess spending. For more information, go to extension.sgstate.edu. If you are finding that your shopping is getting out of control or causing debt issues, reach out to Lorna Woundedhead, accredited financial counselor, 
for advice and strategies to help with your situation.